hey guys welcome back to ziki's world thank you guys so much for stopping by to all my returning subscribers thank you guys once again if you're new to my channel welcome to ziki's world guys in today's video i am going to be sharing with you how i make this hibiscus tea also known as zobo in africa so you guys if you want to see how i make this keep watching So guys, these are the list of the ingredients. I'm going to be using some hibiscus flour and uh, this is about two cups. I will also be using this size of ginger as much as you can or you want. I'll be using two orange and also I'll be using cloves. It's very, very important for this zobo and then I'll be adding some pen ipo. So these are all the ingredients I have available right now. If you're in Nigeria, you have that, um, uh, what is it called? Sweetener for zobo, go ahead and do and use that, but I don't have it right now. So this is what I'm working with. So first thing I did is to go back to the sink and wash the pineapple wash it very very well because we are going to be cooking the zobo with the pineapple skin so make sure you wash it up very very well to avoid that going inside your zobo so after that i'm going to wash the uh, hibiscus flower itself because it has a lot of sand at the end i'm gonna show you guys the reason why you have to wash your hibiscus flour so just wash and take it out from the water and then the sand will definitely settle at the bottom of this bowl so it's very very important for you to do this before you start cooking it meanwhile i have already gone ahead to add about eight cups of water inside the pot and uh, we're going to let it come to a boil so you guys watch as you can see i don't know whether you can see this clearly but there's a lot of sand that is settled at the bottom of this i don't know whether you can see that but definitely there's a lot of sun yes you can see it right so this is why you have to wash it then i i went ahead to start cutting the pineapple this part is very very important because we need that the pineapple uh, peel or the skin for this recipe you if you don't have pineapple you can still make your soup but pineapple is very essential ingredient for this recipe so go ahead and do justice by cutting off the skin and then i'll show you guys the next thing to do So you guys we are done peeling the skin of the pineapple i forgot to mention make sure that you use ripe pineapple for this recipe why i am using ripe pineapple because i am not going to be adding any sugar to this recipe i told you guys this is my way of enjoying um sobo when it comes to my low carb lifestyle or low carb diet so yeah I am not adding any sugar we are done cutting this pineapple i'm going to show you how we are going to use this pineapple to make this zobo so go ahead and cut your ginger i love ginger i love it spicy then cut it i do not peel the skin but you can go ahead and peel the skin so you guys now the water is boiling i add the pineapple peel the uh, hibiscus flour and also i'm gonna be adding the ginger yeah so go ahead and add the ginger if you want it spicier or that go ahead and add now as for clove i'm adding about just three because clove has this strong um aroma when it goes inside this pot of 
um sobo so go ahead and add a little bit of it if you want you can add more but i've done this experiment i noticed that one to two cloves go a long way to boost the flavor of your sobo so guys now i'm going to be squeezing out the juice from the orange i will be using this um juice to make my sobo drink okay guys this is gonna be super delicious if you are using sugar you might you know skip the orange juice or if you want you can add both of them but for me as somebody that is on a low carb lifestyle i am using just orange juice and the uh, pan apple yeah so now i'm going to be blending this pan apple for this recipe just to watch as i just blend the pan apple after that i am not adding water i am using the orange juice to help the blender as you can see there are some pops i intentionally allow it to go inside the juice so just press pause and let it come to puree so yeah guys this is how it is on the inside so i am done blending this so i'm going to set this aside until when i'll be needing that so you guys keep watching if you have not subscribed i want you to subscribe to be a part of my family if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up so you guys after about 13 minutes of boiling the hibiscus tea with the ginger pineapple peel and cloves so it is now completely cooked i'm going to set it aside and allow it to cool down so now i'm going to sieve the tea for this before you start this make sure you wash your hand if you're using a nut bag or chiffon or muslin cloth so wash your hand because you are going to be squeezing out the extra juice in the bag So you guys yes i am done squeezing out the extra juice so now this is the pineapple and the orange puree now one thing about this is that i am not saving it i am pouring everything to the tea you guys this is super delicious because the pineapple is ripe and sweet the orange is sweet as well so at this point if you want you can add your sugar or any other sweetener of your choice but as for me i am not adding sugar <laughs> so you guys let it cool down i am going to show you how i will be enjoying this so i am using my sweetener i just add one sachet of the sweetener inside a cup that i added some ice so you guys we are going to serve this guys this is super delicious you can drink this in placement of your soda or any other drink you can enjoy this with any nigerian snacks and yeah you guys thank you so much for watching this video i want you to try this recipe for your family adding um orange and the pineapple to see the different flavor it is going to give you so you guys we have come to the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more interesting video i will see you guys in my next video meanwhile have you tried this recipe before let me know in the comment section whether you have combined orange and pineapple for your zobo so you guys we have come to the end of today's video see you guys in my next video have a beautiful week out there bye